Cafe TO certainly offered a lifeline to many small businesses during the pandemic, but in the couple years since, the rollout hasn't exactly earned any Michelin stars, despite the fact that Mayor Olivia Chow wanted everyone to believe that today at the end of patio season. It's just a beautiful experience. It's good for the neighborhood. It's great for uh, the restaurants. Sipping drinks on a sunny afternoon or evening, enjoying some good food, may be fantastic for the few who can enjoy it. Those caught in downtown congestion may have been thinking twice this summer though. The space being taken up by curbside patios, but the mayor says the money made by small businesses makes up for the lost time in a car. If you do this, then you're taking out some parking spot, but there's parking spots in the inner, in other streets, but as long as it really helped the small businesses in the area, is something that's worthwhile to do. As the season winds down, the city calls it a success with more than 300 curb lane cafes with 60 new and 244 returning bars and restaurants. After the debacle in 2023, when owners said the approvals process was too lengthy, this year there were improvements for those that did opt in. What we want to be putting into our small businesses rather than filling out application forms. So this year's streamline was extremely beneficial for myself and most of my members in Greektown. Taking part in occupying space along the sidewalk with a patio costs money though. Fees paid to the city depending on the size of the space were increased this year and are set to go up another one third again in 2025. Since the restaurant owners are economically benefiting quite a bit, they are a lot more tables because of it. So we're asking them to give us a, a small percentage of that. Asking more from those that need to hold on to the profits gained might not be worth it for some. Raising questions about how much patio time will be available when the summer weather returns next year. It's debatable. Uh, there are some businesses that definitely have to take into account the cost of operating the patio. So I have heard anecdotally that some businesses are on the fence if they're going to join again next year. A couple of other issues that the bars and restaurants are hoping can be cleaned up for next year. Waste management. The city owned garbage bins in and around these patios aren't necessarily being cleaned up and it's ruining the experience for customers. The other thing, those large concrete barriers that are painted blue by the city, the BIA say they can't do anything with them beyond that. Mark McAllister, City News.